I respectfully acknowledge that I'm standing on the unceded traditional territory of the Comox and Qualicum First Nations. I thank them for the use of their lands, and I want to express my sorrow for the victims of the residential schools. On a recent episode of a Raycast, Connor Hookstra posed a problem to us, and that problem is, take this list of numbers, give it one more, take this list of numbers, and by taking one number at a time out, multiply the rest of the numbers, and then get the product. So first step, I'd take the three out, I'd multiply these numbers together, and I'd, that would be my first position. Second position, I would take the four out, and then I would multiply three times five, six, three, two, and I would get the second position, and then so on as I go down the list. So this is what it should look like. And to be quite honest, I was terrified when Connor proposed this. And the reason is, is because I generally don't think this way with Jay. I play around with things. I don't come up with fast solutions, but I'm persistent and I will come up with solutions. And on the way, I quite learn quite a bit. But in this case, I had, <laughs> I had one of Jay's primitives. It's the adverb outfix. And what outfix does, I can show you what outfix does, if I change this is a verb. It's the, it's the verb that will multiply across all, all the positions in, that it's given. So I'm going to change that to this, which actually just takes whatever it's fed, and then it'll spit it back out. So we're going to see how this works. So with that, this is what's happening. You can see we've got three removed, and then the rest of the numbers are there. And then the four is removed, and you end up with three, five, six, three, two. So three, skipping the four, five, six, three, two, and so on. So you've got your list of your, your six different lists, one for each number being removed. And Outfix just does that for you. Now, I've, Outfix is pretty cool in another way, too, because you can actually change the number of... Um, um, change the number of uh, uh, in entries that you're taking out. Change the number of your entries that you're taking out. So in this case, I'm taking out two at a time. So I take out the three and the four, and I'm left with five, six, three, two. And then I take out the four and the five, and I'm left with three, six, three, two. And so you can do those kind of things with it. Very powerful adverb. It's a dyadic adverb, and that's why this argument on this side is here, because it causes that adverb to act on this argument, depending on the feed that is given from this argument. Now, in the case of my solution, I just went here to one, because I'm only going to take them one at a time, and instead of just spitting them back out, what I did is I just did a product reduce across the, 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 the remaining numbers. And as a result, when I do this, I get the answer spit out to me. So that number will be looking the same as this number up here. Um, this is a little artifact here. And it's actually a bug in the program, and it happens just because of this uh, product, this multiplier in here. For some reason, there's something in that was uh, reacting with the program. I pointed out to Henry Rich, who's the uh, maintainer of the program, and, uh, and he's fixed it. So it no longer will happen in the newer versions of, of J903. Um, it was actually happening in J902 as well. So it will go on happening in 902, but it's just a really little flaky little bug there, and um, it's been fixed. <laughs> so that's the easy answer. Now, the other solution that the Connor and Stephen came up with, I was actually really impressed with. And what this is, is it's a fork. So if I take that, in order to make it a fork, I have to put parentheses around it. Because if I didn't put parentheses around it, and just gave it these, this argument, then it would go... Um, right to left and just work its way through. And I don't want it to do that. I want it to recognize that these things are grouped together. And as soon as they're grouped together, this verb will take this argument, and it just uses that argument. This verb will do a multiplication across this entire argument. Notice I'm not dropping anything at this point. And then the result of the whole multiplication divided by each number in its turn gives me the answer. So there's the answer. 
So how does this work? Well, you might have already figured it out. But if I take this, so now all I'm doing is I'm doing exactly what this here was doing on this side. It's taking this list and it's doing a, a multiplication across the whole thing. But if I take that and then I divide it, as this is being divided, I can divide it by each entry in here. And because it's an array language, it will do all the entries together. But just to show you, let's pick five. So what I'm doing here, if you take a look at it, you can actually see it before it happens. This five here, this five here is going to cancel out this five here. And what I'm going to end up with is all these numbers here, all those numbers there are going to get multiplied together, and this 5 cancels out on that 5. So that's the way that this things work. And you, since you can do it with all of them at once, you end up with what you were doing originally, which is basically, so there's the 532 in the place of the 5 there. You can see that. And that's when 5 was divided. If I put 3 in there, these two 3s would cancel out. I'd end up with a 720 in both places. So it's pretty cool. But I did take it one step further. And the step further that I took it was because of J. And the re what I did was J has things called hooks. And what hooks do is hooks will take an argument, such as this argument, And what it does is if it's a monadic hook, because there's only one argument to it, it's going to copy this to the other side, and then it's going to execute it. So it takes this verb, does a multiplication across everything, takes this whole thing, because it's a hook, and copies it over to here. So you get this divided by, but this, this uh, tilde, this little passive um, adverb, is what reverses the arguments. So that rather than having these numbers divide the, the product, I reverse them and I have the product divide these numbers. So it's a bit complicated, but that's the way hooks work and it shortens down the solution. And of course, you've seen this solution work before and it does work. So um, that's my explanation of my uh, talk about the different areas that Jay uses to solve Connor's problem. And uh, I will try and put a link somewhere for uh, Connor's um, uh, solution. Um, he's done it in video as well. Or you could listen to a Raycast. And uh, that's a podcast that uh, Connor, uh, Adam, and Stephen, and Richard, and Rodrigo sometimes, and other people do about the array languages. So I hope you like uh, enjoyed this. I hope you learned something from it. And uh, if you are interested, have a listen to the Raycast. Uh, it's a podcast that we do. Thanks a lot.